recognize all those stickers, the uh, 17 foot promise from concretepumping.com. In case a lot of y'all didn't know, there is a website for I get a lot, I get asked a lot of information and questions up about you know, my opinion, things like that. You can go to concretepumping.com, uh, Todd Gillis' uh, website. And he's a great guy, I've met him a couple of times, and then, uh, and I visited him on the phone, but he, uh, he's got this website called concretepumping.com, and it's a forum, and there's archives and all kinds of information on there, there's, uh, a lot of your manufacturers are sponsors of his website, uh, so you can click on, you know, Putzmeister, Concord, Alliance, Schwing, uh, it's a great website. If you've never been to that website before, go check it out and uh, sign up on it. You can ask questions. There's thousands, I don't know, probably four or five thousand members of that website. Uh, you can just about get anything you wanted answered on that on that website as far as pumping information and maybe other stuff too. Uh, when I was learning how to pump, I went to that website a lot and uh, just went through the archives. Just different subjects or some things that spontaneous spawn a tremendous amount of comments or some stuff that you think oh it's gonna be pretty good there's not many comments at all but go take a look at it i'm sure todd appreciate it and like i said anything to do with concrete pumping it's on there uh from sponsors to people to buy boom pipe from or to buy parts from or to you know manufacture websites all that stuff like that that's where you go to get that stuff done uh we're on an interesting one today. Chris and I are both here. We are fixing to, to fill some pier holes. Uh, they're about 20, little, little over 20 feet deep. And the engineer does not want the concrete to fall more than three feet. So we're gonna pump those pier holes. This is what we're using. We've got two older pieces of uh, boom pipe. Weigh about 40, 45 pounds each. And I've already talked to the manufacturer about this. Anytime you hang anything off these trucks and you're not sure about it and, and all that, you always need to talk to the manufacturer about doing this. And, and I have already spoke with the manufacturer told them exactly what we were doing and uh, they they said it shouldn't be an issue at all uh, so I know that might generate some comments I'm curious to see what guys had to say about it uh, or, or how they've done this in the past uh, I know a lot of times they use a crane and, and to pull to support the weight and to, and to help pull it back up, but we're not going that deep. We're only going 20 foot deep, so uh, we're not we're not hanging. We're not putting much weight on the on this boom, so that's a good thing. But and I told these guys anything more than that, I'm not I'm not going to do. I'm not. I don't feel comfortable with it. Uh, so that's where we're at right there. So anyway, that's what we're into today. Uh, we got, we're fixing to finish up the fourth pier hole right there. And we'll be going from that.
We've got a storm system coming in. Our weekly storm system that comes in on a Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and screws the whole schedule up. It's on its way. So, we'll prepare for that. But, you know, that being said, and this is what's great about this job here is there's not, uh, it's not going to slow it down. It might slow it down Wednesday with the temperatures being close to freezing. But after that, we're going to go back at it. So, hopefully, while everybody's staying warm and toasty, I'll be out here freezing my butt off running this pump. That's the plan anyway. So, let's get the boom stretched out here. We'll pick up that piece of pipe. Then I promise you, I talked to the manufacturer and said, is this okay to do? They specced it out said, yes, you're good to go. So, uh, be gentle on the comments, because I'm sure somebody out there that's a super pumper is going to come up and go, my God, you ain't supposed to do that. Well, I talked to the manufacturer. They said we could. So, and I'm going to go with them because this thing's still under warranty. And I'm going to, you know, I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't want to pay for a bunch of stuff that they didn't have to pay for. So, then I this is under warranty. The truck is still under warranty. Uh, and I'm asking that question. They're going, yes, you're fine. I feel pretty sure we're good to go. And we kind of guessed, but you know, like I said, we didn't get much pop. Pop weighs 40 pounds each. No clamp. We welded it up on it. Professional welders welded. Yours truly did not. I'm a dirt dauber, not these guys. Uh, so, and it's a five inch pop. It's not like we're hanging 25 foot or three inch off with a redu with two reducers, and straps, and clamps, and all that. I guarantee you that always more than what this thing does. I could curl this one with one hand, I bet. Things. They're gonna get this machine out of the way here. We'll connect up to that, and then uh, we'll be ready to start filling some pier holes. Should take. They figured four and a half yards per a hole. So, but they got ten yards coming. So that ought to be plenty there.
And now if there's a laser level set up over there, they'll get it, get the levels, they'll put some blocks, some shoring underneath it, hold it up, and then hopefully in the <laughs> next few minutes we'll get a concrete truck here where we'll get some fresh mud in this pump. So ah, we're on the last hole. <laughs> Anybody ever heard that? <laughs> bad gig and I, I knew today was going to be we're going to burn some time today uh but what it did do for us is it it opened up some time you know i was expecting to 100 percent give a pump up all week for this deal and we're not this not gonna work out that way we're gonna be able to come in around lunch one o'clock and uh so we're gonna be able to get some other work done once this weather gets out of here. So I'm happy about that because this is guaranteed work and anything we can slip in underneath it is uh, just just the cash cow. Good night. Y'all seeing how bald I am. I gotta <laughs> get my hat on. <laughs> y'all ain't very many times y'all seen me without a hat. Oh, he didn't even recognize me. But uh, now, I was pretty well, pretty happy. I think, I think they're happy too, of how this how this all went together. So, um, it's, I, I'm really happy about it, as you can tell. I'm happy to get work in, you know? So, it's gonna be a nasty day tomorrow and everything's already canceled for tomorrow, but this. So, but, you know, draping around the mud, I'll do that. I hell you doesn't make me any difference uh not that i enjoy it but I, you know i'll be sitting at the house not getting a paycheck so 100 percent i'll come out here and pump concrete in a little bit of drizzly rain with the cold north wind about 30 mile an hour that's dropping to around 30 and then they're talking about eight inches of snow tomorrow night so not a problem anyway thank y'all for watching uh leave your comments below i know there's going to be some you know what i'm saying we'll just see what comes up uh anyway thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't like and share i appreciate it i'll talk to y'all later